One thing that's really interesting about Trevor's swim stroke is my arm when I swim, instead of going like way out here, if you're still struggling to breathe, if you feel like your legs are sinking, all right, Trainiacs. So something that I'm working on right now is if you have got the swim drill sequence that I've put together at triathlonterran.com forward slash swim drill program, it's the free 15 drills that help me go from not being able to swim one length of the pool to being able to complete a 27 and a 37 kilometer open water marathon swim quite, well, I wouldn't say quite easily, certainly much easier than when I couldn't swim a 25 yard length. Anyway, so what you would notice in those drills is that my arm, when I swim, instead of going like way out here and being extremely stretched out, I stop just a little bit short like this. And then at the back of the stroke, I also come out a little bit short. And what happens, is, oh, just look at it this way. I'm stopping a little bit short there instead of being out there, and I'm coming out a little bit short there instead of being there. And I end up missing out on probably about anywhere from 10 to 20% of the full length of a proper swim stroke. Thus, every time I take a stroke, I'm losing, say, 10 to 20% of the potential propulsion that I could get. This is very important for triathletes to get in the habit of doing correctly because every time you take a stroke, you want to get the most out of it that you possibly can. You take a look at Pat, Trevor, Christine, all of the fastest swimmers in our swim lane, when they take a stroke, they are way out there, very, very straight arm, all the way out, full reach, they're not missing out on anything. So rather than talk about how I'm trying to fix it, I'm gonna talk about how I'm gonna try to fix it while showing you Trevor from our group swim stroke and how nice his swim stroke is. And he is a 522 400 meter time trial. And I think back when he was younger, he was like in the fours sometimes. So I'm gonna show you two separate clips here of Trevor swimming. I'll let it run through and you can see in real time what his swim stroke looks like. You can see he's got a really nice body roll. You can see that his arms get out a long way in front of him. If you stop at basically a perfect side on right here, you can see that his arm goes almost, it goes like down to his knee, it goes past his hip, whereas myself, I'm pulling out of the water here at my hip. In addition, his front arm is way out in front of him, whereas mine is a few inches back. So as he goes forward, he's getting another few inches of catch at the front and another few inches of propulsion at the back. One thing that's really interesting about Trevor's swim stroke is if you look at it from out of the pool, which I'll show you here, he looks very, very effortless when he swims. It doesn't look like he's trying very hard. It's just kind of a long, slow, steady stroke, not a steady camera, but he's flying here. You look at this here, he gets his arm way out in front of him. It's almost perfectly straight and he comes all the way back past his hip on both sides. So he's getting the full length of the stroke. He's not missing out on that. And if we go to the front view, you can see that he really stretches it out. He enters the water right there with a bit of a bent arm that you can still see. And then beyond that, he still pushes it out to reach it as far as he possibly can. And take a look from the other side and you'll see in slow motion how his stroke looks here. Good, nice high elbow getting out of the water. That'll help you get your arm over any waves that are coming up. Goes all the way out, all the way back. Very even on both sides. He breathes bilaterally, taking a breath here on the right side. And then you'll see three strokes later, he breathes on the left side. When he breathes on the right side, you can see that he still has one goggle in the water right here. We will pause it. 
So he's got his left goggle in the water, so he's not lifting his head out. And he's got just a nice, even, well-balanced stroke on both sides. So yeah, Trainiacs. This is a very critical part of your stroke. However, it's not the most critical part of your stroke. If you're still struggling to breathe, if you feel like your legs are sinking, if you feel like you can't possibly do bilateral breathing, I would certainly recommend you start by going to triathlonterran.com forward slash swim drill program and getting those list of swim drills sent out to you. And that'll get you to a point of being comfortable in the water, not struggling to breathe, not sinking. And once you've got that, then you've got a foundation that you can build a swim stroke off of and you can work on things like that, this, like maximizing your swim efficiency so that every single stroke you take is not a struggle and it's very propulsive. Give that a try, guaranteed to improve your stroke. 100%, 100%, 100p, folks. Yep.